Good morning, Green Machine family. This is Dan and you're watching Green Machine Outdoors. Today we're fishing the city of Richmond, everything from structure to drifting channel ledges. So follow along and see if we hook up with any big old kitty cats on this adventure. Here's our offerings for today. We've got some hickory shad and some gizzard shad. You can see I've got some slightly larger chunks and some really small chunks. Okay, just gonna play around with that till I figure out what they want. We've got a Carolina rig out there. If you can see it, it's got a little whisker seekers lure on the backside, something very much like this with a fast clip. Those are eight ounce egg sinkers on 100 pound liters. I can grab them by that and just pull them right in the boat. Back here, I've got two more traditional Santee rigs. So I've got a slip slide up there right now. They've got five ounce on that. I might try a little bumping. Might bump those up to eight ounce or even 10 just to get them to stick. Big old float down to some hooks. Same thing on the other side. So we're gonna toss those out and see what we can get going on. Look at this rod, someone's on it. Let's see if he takes it. I think he's on there. All right, let's pick up on him. All right, yeah, we've got him. We've got him. He's running in that current. I think it's just a little dink, but it's a skunk buster, right? Always got to get that first fish in the boat. The rest seem to follow. I think this was on Hickory Shad. Yeah, that's nothing to get too excited about right here. Just a little tiny guy. All right, we'll get him out of here and look for some bigger fish. Time to upgrade. This back rod right here just got hit as I was reeling in baits to move on to my next spot. We got another little guy on here, I think. Yeah. All right. They are liking the hickory shad today. That's good to know. Both bites have come on the hickory shad. I think I'm gonna take this time to pull the anchor and get down river and do a little drift. This spot's been a little quiet. So it's either quiet or the fact that some of my rods have gizzard shad on them. They're just not touching those. But I'm gonna take my chances and go down river. All right, so we moved down river about three quarters of a mile. I'm just gonna drift a channel ledge now. The water's pushing out of the city. We just had a lot of rain last week, so I'm gonna keep an eye on my speed. Right now, we're right about a mile an hour, which is usually faster than I like to go, but that's good for this stretch of the river. And as I get further away from the city, it should slow down even more just a little bit. Now I'm taking my baits and I'm suspending them right over the edges of the kayak, all four of them. Even though they're different rigs, I've got my Carolinas and my Santees, they're all just suspended a foot or two off the bottom. And we're gonna drift this channel ledge, see if we can't pick up any cats. So I'm gonna keep an eye on the graph as I go. As the depth changes, I might have to adjust my uh, amount of line I have out a little bit here and there, but we'll keep them right down there towards the bottom. This rod just got slammed. Let's see if he's still here. I think so. Let's reel down on him. Yep, there he is, all right. There we go. First fish of the drift. Just starting to get to the spot where I expected a little bit more action. And a little bit better fish size too. Might actually throw that one on the board and get a measurement on him. And what do you know, on the hickory shad again. That's kind of interesting there. I don't know if you can see that on his fin. It actually broke at some point. And it looks like it's probably gonna fall off and he's gonna have a little nub there. But he's been scrapping it up a little bit. We're gonna get him out of here and send him on his way. Oh boy, we got a drag peeler back here. Let's see what we got. He took off like a monster and he feels sort of heavy. It's probably a good medium-sized fish if I had to guess. 
He's got tiny little head pulls, but he is aggressive. He's just sitting down there like a log. I'm excited to see what this one is. My drag set pretty tight too, probably too tight. He took off and started peeling it. He's gonna pull. He's down there swimming zigzags on me. About to get a glimpse of him. That's a really nice blue. Really nice blue. Time to give you a look at this nice fish. He's a beaut. That's a good little chunk for you right there. I'm gonna do the calculations for you. That's a 36 inch length and a 23 inch girth. So we'll punch the numbers there, put it up on screen and see what this fish weighs. He's got that big old belly on him. So I thought you'd like to see the weight on that. Let's get him out of here. Back down to the bottom, ready to roll. Nice, now it's a good trip. Let's see if there's anything else on this ledge. This rod back here just got bent over. I'm going through a little hot bed here. Hopefully a better fish. I've been catching a couple of really small ones as you've seen. I'm looking for those nicer fish today. Slot fish would be great too. That's better. Definitely better. We'll take it. And he got off. So he was just skin hooked. That got off. He actually ate the big old shad head. So we'll leave it out there. This has got to be a little guy, but man, did he crush it. Those smaller head bobs are kind of giving it away that he's probably just a little fish. Yep. What do you know? That'll give us a chance to put a fresh piece of bait on there. All right, let's get him out of here. May not be the best action, but it's still a pretty fun trip. All right, well, we made about a mile and a half down river and then all four rods got snagged at the same time, which told me it's time to get back up river. I'll probably do a shorter drift up there, maybe do it once or twice and that might be it for the trip. I don't have a whole lot of time today, so let's get back up there. Ready, go. Woo! Go. Look at this one go. Don't tell me you let go. Look at this rod. There he is, there he is. All right, all right, I got him. Let's reel down on him. All right. First fish of the new drift. We might be getting a double here in the back. That'd be nice. That's a real small guy. Probably throw him on the board either way. All right, just about 26 inches, I think just over. Small fish, a lot of spunk. That's the second one in a row now where their fins have been pretty beat up. They must be starting to look for some spawning grounds with their river heating up. Heading into that spawn in the next couple months, not sure. All right, I think we got something going on here. Yep, look at that, all right.
Oh man, he hit it kind of funky. I was hoping it'd be a solid fish. He's just another little guy. That might be all we're getting into today for the most part. Again on the hickory shad. That's what they're loving today. All right, there's another guy. We're not gonna throw him on the board. He's a little too short to help any tournaments at this point. I'm just gonna toss him back. I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes here. There's a lot of structure through this area of the river. A couple more minutes and then we'll probably go up to the wall and try and catch a couple of hickory shad to keep for later. All right, well, that's gonna do it for our trip today. We only had a couple hours to spend on the river, but we caught some good fish nonetheless. We got a cooler full of bait to use on our upcoming trips, so make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and you don't wanna miss out on these trips coming up. The James River is on fire. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.